Hi, take a look at the top right corner. In this video I will show you how to make your own in-game overlay just like this to show your FPS and CPU or GPU temperatures in-game. In fact, you can make an overlay with pretty much every sensor value you like. As you can see, my overlay shows temps and utilization of my CPU and GPU as well as the FPS and frame times. So let's get right into it. First, you will need to download RTSS. You can get that from Guru3D. And I will leave a link in the description down below. Make sure to download and install the latest version available. To read out the sensor values we like to show, we will use HWinfo64, so make sure to download and install it. When you start HWinfo, you are greeted with this window. Go to Settings and make sure to enable Auto Start. Uncheck Show System Summary at Startup, as well as enabling to minimize Main Window and Sensors on Startup. Confirm with OK and make sure to select Sensors only. You can now hit the Run button. A little blue icon should now appear in your taskbar. Double click on it to show the sensor values HWinfo has available. Select a sensor value that should be displayed in your overlay. Right click on it and choose OSD RTSS settings. Make sure to check show value in OSD. Now as you can see I chose the total CPU usage to be displayed. I want this to be the first value in the top left corner, so I make sure to have line 1 and column 1 selected as its position. The overlay I showed you in the beginning has the CPU values in column 1 and the GPU values in column 2. If you like that, make sure to lay it out accordingly. Confirm with OK and repeat the steps for other sensor readings like the CPU temperature and GPU temperature and utilization. Don't forget to choose the right line and column. And for a cleaner layout, you may want to make use of the align digits function. Alright, let's get into the settings you need to make in RTSS. First of all, make sure you have the game you want to configure the overlay for running in the background. This makes it much more convenient to find the location of the game files. Next, you want to add the game to RTSS by clicking the green Add button. A window will show up which prompts you to select the file location of your game. As I deleted my Rainbow Six Siege profile for this video, it still remembers my file location, but if you don't have the file location of your game memorized, just right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Right click on your game and click open file location to be directed to your game files. Just navigate to the same executable and you're good to go. Your new game profile has now been created, so you can activate the on-screen display support and turn on show on statistics. And don't forget to toggle on Start with Windows. Now it's time to restart the game for the settings to take effect. Start the game in window mode but with the resolution of your screen. Reposition your game window so that you can see RTSS and your game at the same time. The OSD will most likely be in the top left corner. Now it's time to change the appearance of the overlay. Press Raster 3D to change the font and the font size. I personally like to choose Calibri and size 11. By clicking on the first circle under on-screen display profile, you can also configure the font color to your liking. Additionally, I'd recommend to reduce the on-screen display zoom all to the left. If you like a bigger screen text, change the font size instead. You can now reposition your overlay by using the blue arrows at the bottom. I want to move the OSD all to the right, which would take rather long by using only the arrows. So as my display has a horizontal resolution of 2560, I'm typing in 2300, 
which places the OSD 2300 pixels away from the top left corner. Also, I want to move it a few pixels down. But ultimately, this will highly depend on your screen resolution and the type of game you are playing. Just make sure to hide nothing important. To activate the frame time graph, go to Setup and enable Frame Time History Overlay. Confirm with OK for the setting to take effect. Your current frame time will be displayed right next to your FPS value and the frame time graph will be displayed underneath. The frame time graph comes in pretty handy to control how smooth your FPS are. If you ever experience FPS dips, it will be shown as a peak in the frame time graph. Now if this is the first game you are setting up an OSD for, it might look a bit cluttered like this. What you want to do is moving a few numbers to the right. So open up hwinfo, select the setting you want to move and use the align digits function to move it to the right. You may want to play around a bit with the numbers here to get a pleasing result. And you're done! Enjoy gaming with your new overlay and configure other games if you like. Mm -hmm.